When I see individual clients who come in and they've got, you know, there may be early stage breast cancer, but they've got HER2 positive receptors, you know, I, I, I'm happy for them that there's, there's now coverage for this drug because it's, it's going to hopefully help them. I understand the need to have a, a, some kind of benchmark or a system in which you would approve a drug to be covered through OHIP. But at the same time, it's, you know, what I've noticed is that, you know, our system just lags behind. Right, so Herceptin, uh, coverage for Herceptin is behind, is, 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 has been a long time coming in my opinion. And, um, you know, it's, it'd be nice to be able to have the system be able to respond more quickly to sort of the latest evidence that comes out and that emerges so that we aren't having patients who are sitting around waiting. That's what it takes to get something covered. Then obviously there's something, something wrong with the way we're doing things now. It's, um, uh, maybe, maybe there needs to be more resources in place to help support a process in which we can, we can be looking at more regularly at which, which drugs should be incorporated and which ones shouldn't. And there should be a more transparent process by which that happens. And if it takes political pressure to get something like Herceptin covered, you know, that, that's, I think, a sign that there's a problem with the system.